Hi everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. In today's video, I'll be showcasing my entire collection of diecast cars made by Majorette. Um, I've gotten most of these Majorette models in the last few years or so. There are a few that I had um, longer than that, but most of these I've gotten within the last five years. Um, Majorette is a French-based company. They were founded in 1961 and they've been producing diecast models since then. At one point, the models actually were made in France. Um, all of my vintage Majorettes back here were in fact made in France, but in recent years, the models have been made in Thailand. In terms of buying models made by Majorette, as far as the United States goes, they're kind of hard to find here. Um, back in 2017 and 2018, you could buy these cars at Toys R Us, which unfortunately went bankrupt by the end of 2018. And then a couple years after that, Target began to sell them for a short time. I have been to Target a few times in the past year, and I have not seen any Majorette models there. So I don't know if they've finished selling them there too or what. But if you're in, in the U.S. at least, the best way to get these Majorette models is to go on, online on sites such as eBay and Amazon. Um, I actually got a set of 33 Majorette models from Amazon back in 2022, and I did do a video on that kind of unboxing and showcase of that set. It actually became my most viewed video a little bit over a year ago, so that that's really cool. But yeah, as far as getting these cars in the U.S., unfortunately, it can be quite hard. If you're over in Europe, the these models are quite plentiful, both in stores and online as well. But I do like the Majorette brand in general. I definitely would say that they have more details on their models than, let's say, Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Most of them do have opening doors or some kind of an opening feature. And all of them do have working suspension as well, as you can see right here. In terms of recently made models by the brand, a lot of people, I think, aren't a fan of like the wheels that they put on their models. But I don't really mind them because all the other details of the models are actually um, quite good. You can get the, these models for usually between three and six US dollars, depending on where you're getting them from. And they do come in various boxed sets and gift packs as well. I have several of those examples right here. Um, one example of a set that I can point out here is this set of five models of Porsches. Um, Majorette does release, I think, a couple of different um, Porsche gift sets per year. Um, if you go on Amazon, you can find most of them on there right now. And they also sell those huge boxed sets of 33 cars. Um, in terms of that set, it's going to be kind of the same. You're not going to be able to get like a different assortment of models. It's going to be the same 33 cars. But if you're looking to kind of start your, your collection of Majorette models and want to kind of do it in just one go, then getting that box set, I think, would be a great way of um, doing that. But I think for the prices that Majorette sells these models at, they are a decent deal. Um, some details, I think, could be better on some of the models, but as far as just the basic um, details go and whatnot, the models, I think, are very well done. And most of them are true 164th scale as well, which is really cool to us say. So I'm going to start in the back here with these two racing transport truck sets. Both of these sets did come from Toys R Us right before they closed down. So I have the Ford racing truck set right here where you have the blue truck, which is an M-A-N truck. Apparently, it's not actually called a man. It's M-A-N, I learned, so interesting. <laughs> but you can see it does have the cool um, racing graphics on there. The entire trailer is made of plastic, but I don't think that's really a big deal because you can actually fit cars inside of the trailer, which, which is very cool. And the cab, of course, is made out of die-cast metal. And you, can have, and you can also remove the trailer from the cab. But these two Ford Fiesta rally cars did come with the truck, and they're actually based off real cars that did race, which is really cool to us seeing. Um, this Fiesta rally car was sold as an individual car. It did not come in the set, but it's also a Ford Fiesta, so I usually put this with the uh, set here. So I got that one from a Toys R Us. Same goes for the Porsche Transport set right here. You have this really cool-looking white truck. Same type of truck as the blue Ford racing truck, and then you have the same trailer, although it does say Porsche Motorsport on the side. And it did come with these two Porsche 911 GT3 RS castings. One here is in matte black, and one here is in white. 
And then I also have this blue version that I also got from Toys R Us. Oh, I got the Fiesta from Toys R Us too. I forgot to say that. But this blue one was sold as an individual model. But like the Fiesta, I do put it with the uh, transport truck because it does go great um, with it. So that's where all of those came from. A majorette did more kind of bigger truck sets like these. But I think only these two made it to the estates before um, they pulled out since, since Toys R Us was on closing now. Then in this background, I do have all of my vintage majorette castings. We have this RV right here, or this um, camper van. Um, what do they call it? A foregon. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> and you can see that, that the model was, in fact, made in France. That's where the, these models began to be um, produced, I believe, until the 1990s or the early 2000s. And then they moved production over to um, Thailand. But all of these vintage ones do have the metal bases, with the exception of... Um, which one is it of that one there, which I'll get to, but, and this does have the opening rear door and, and then we do have this cool truck. It's kind of a flatbed with like a built-in seat in the back and some ropes and stuff. I got this thing for like 50 cents at like a flea market because I thought it was cool. It's an Hexplorator. There's actually two people back there as well. Then we have a Mazda R Hex 7 in orange, kind of beat up. I don't know if I'll be keeping this one for that much longer. Uh, but it is another uh, vintage casting. Of course, all these do have uh, working suspension on them as well. I think I already said that. But in, but um, it does have some cool uh, graphics on there and whatnot, too. Next, we have a Ford Thunderbird from the 1980s. And this actually has a partially opened hood. There's a stake or like a stick that's kind of built in. That's a plastic chrome. I forget what series this model came from, but Majorette did do a few cars like this where you had the kind of permanently opened hood, I guess we'll call it. I don't know. And for a while, Majorette was putting trailer hitches on all of their models. I don't know if the real-life T-Bird could tell anything, but cool that you could get the model with, with that on there. <laughs> I got this from a local um, hob hobby shop a couple of years ago. Next, we have a Volvo 760 in green. Same thing, also has the trailer hitch opening doors, and nice green a paint job on there as well. Then we have this Chevrolet Blazer tow truck. You can actually move the uh, hooks on there. I got this from the same place as the T-Bird, and this green one came from an antique store. This also has the metal base and suspension. What's this one called? Dupont, Duponus. They always use the French names, at least for the um, er earlier cast things. <laughs> So I'm not really sure what they're actually called. But this for sure is based off a Chevy Blazer, just seeing how the front looks and the cab as well. So cool. This next one is pretty unusual. Um, Excalibur was a car brand based in, in the U.S. And they made these extravagant looking 1930s-esque cars in the um, 80s. And Majorette made a model of, of one. You would think this is from like the 1930s or like a 1930s American car, but no, this is based off a vehicle made in the late 1970s or early 1980s. Um, yeah, there's the name right there in giant um, letters. But interesting brand, I actually like didn't know about them until I got the uh, model, which I've had since I was a little kid. Weird car, but still pretty cool. And then last for the vintage models, we have a BMW 750i. Um, this is from the Sonic Flasher series, and that's because at one point the model did make lights and sound. Although, as you can hear now, it doesn't really do that too well anymore. <laughs> but I did get it for 75 cents at a flea market, and it is pretty beat up, and it's a BMW 7 series, so I thought, you know, I'll still get it. But there's what the lights would look like if they were turned on. But yeah, the Sonic Flasher series was from, I think, the early 90s. I'm not sure if this was made in, in France or not. That was, I think, around the time where they were kind of pulling out of production from France and moving over to, to a Thailand, but a cool casting. All right, now pretty much all the rest of these that you see here are newer castings made in the last 10 years or so. Most were made in the last five years. So I'm going to go ahead and start first with this set that I got from Amazon. It was like a city set or a city construction pack or something. I got it for maybe like $12 or $13. I think you can still get this set from there. Um, but the one model that came in, it was this Renault Twingo done in a DHL van livery. Looks uh, really cool. And this back door does actually open. It's just really hard to get open. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Nope. Oh, well. But it does um, open, which is cool. Then we have a Mercedes-Benz Zetros. 
um, in the form of a cargo truck that has a working boom hook, and then you can hook it onto this piece of, of cargo and then have it and lift it from the bed and put it down somewhere, which is a really cool, but um, really nicely I'm detailed as well. And then the last model that came in, in the set is this MAN trash truck, which is actually done in 187 scale, which, which I thought was uncool. So I do actually have this on my train layout, which is on um, that same scale. And this back door does um, open on it, which is a uh, really cool. So that's from that set there. Up next, we have the Porsche gift set that I got from Target. In that set, you had this Porsche 934 with this interesting Brumos Porsche racing with livery on it. Um, I do love the uh, paintwork on here along with the livery. It does have the opening doors. And then we have two different Porsche 911 GT3 RSs done in purple and in yellow. And of course, they do have the opening doors as well. Then we have a Porsche Panamera police car. Cool, uh, cool looking uh, livery on there. It's done in kind of a black and silver. You have the blue um, light bar up there and a tow hook, which is odd, but still cool. And then the last car of the set is this Porsche Boxer done in, in this really cool light blue. And this does have a removable roof as well on the casting, which is hard to get off with one hand, so I just did it with them two hands, but there's the roof off, looks cool. <laughs> then we have two more um, models of Porsches. I got the green one from Amazon and the blue one from Target. The green one is a Porsche 911 Carrera convertible. 992. It does have an opening hood and also a removable roof, which is really cool. You just pop it off like that. This has um, rubber tires on it as well, which is super cool. And of course, you have the hood, which, which opens up like that. Super cool. Then we have another Porsche 9, 992 Carrera. And this one is a coupe. It does have a surfboard on the roof, which is very cool. It does move. It also has the opening doors and the opening hood as well. Next, we have this Ford Mustang Boss 302 in a police liv livery. And this is actually, and this actually does have a working siren on it. You push down on it. At one point, the lights were working, but they don't now, un unfortunately. I got this model from Target. It's still a pretty cool, I just wish the lights still worked, but. So next I have all of the individual majorette models I got from Toys R Us back in 2018. Um, up first we have these three Gran Turismo cars. We have the Mercedes-Benz Vision Gran Turismo, the Infinity Gran Turismo Vision, and the Mitsubishi Vision Gran Turismo. These were all based off cars that were featured in the Gran Turismo uh, video game. And they do look uh, really cool. They don't have any like opening features on them and whatnot or suspension either. So there are some exceptions to um, like major rep models having suspension and or working features. And these are three of them right here. Um, I just thought these look cool. So I got them there. But yeah, there's um those three. Next, we have some racing cars. Now, major rep re released various models and kind of these almost like Spectre Flame colored on um, paint schemes. And the series that they were released under was called the Limited Edition Series. I'm not really sure how limited these models were compared to the other models that Majorette was selling at Toys R Us at that time, but these were notable for their Spectre Flame paint scheme. But this is an Heftype Jaguar right here. Kind of has this vintage looking um, racing livery on it. I always thought this looked uh, really cool in kind of this a Spectre Flame blue as well. Of course, you have the opening doors and the suspension as well. Then we have a 2010 Chevrolet Camaro Hess S. Another uh, racing with livery on there. And this also does have the opening doors as well. Then we have a Mustang Boss 302. It has kind of a Ford racing livery on it in orange. Looks uh, really cool. No opening doors on here, but you do have the suspension and the nice uh, paintwork on it. But up next, we have the Audi A5 Coupe in kind of a metallic gray. And then a 2015 Dodge Viper in blue, both of which look cool. Then we have a Bentley Continental GT, I think around a 2017 model, in this really cool kind of metallic white. This is one of my favorites of the bunch here. 
Then we have a Porsche Boxster in yellow, and same thing as the blue one back here, the roof does come off, which is a very cool touch. I was actually very excited when I found um, the, this one on the Apex when I did. Then we have a really cool looking Spectre Flame Green Nissan GTR from that same series that this uh, Jaguar came from. Then up next we have a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT in yellow, which looks um, really cool. Then we get kind of into the um, hatchbacks right here. First up we have a Range Rover Evoque um, three-door in orange. Does have the opening on uh, lift gate on it. Then we have a Mercedes-Benz A-Class in red. A180, I think the actual name of it is. But I, I always liked on that one. Then we have a Volkswagen Golf in black. And then a Porsche Cayenne in a matte gray. And these both do have the opening rear um, hatches as well. All right, next we have the set of 33 cars that I got back in 2022. A lot of these are going to be kind of the same castings, but in different colors. But like I already said, I do like collecting um, variations. So I don't think that's a big deal that there's variations in this particular set. And I still think that the set really is a good way to kind of help you jumpstart your collection of major rep models. If you don't really have that many or you want to start and don't want to try to like scour, you know, the internet for a whole bunch of individual models. This is kind of an easy way of getting all of them in kind of one shot. So up first we have three Lamborghini Aventadors. You have blue, purple, and yellow. And I actually did make the wheels of the purple version silver with a Sharpie. It came out looking really cool. Um, the wheels are going to be black as standard for this casting. But I did make them silver for the purple version. I kept them black on the blue and the yellow versions. Then we have two versions of the Ford GT 2017. One's purple and one is um, yellow. Then we have a Volkswagen Crafter Ambulance, which looks really cool. And it is actually true on um, 164th scale as well. And then I have another version of the Porsche Panamera police car right here in silver with the blue um, light bar and the blue hood. And then we have a Mercedes-Benz Zetros, I believe it is, or is it an Actros? Let's see. Zetros, yeah. Yes, this is actually the same truck cab that you see here for this uh, cargo truck. So yes, this is a Zetros with this uh, fire brigade um, livery on the side. And this hose actually does spin around, which is uh, really cool. Then we have a Lamborghini Huracan, which has a really cool kind of safety car um, livery going on here. And a really cool thing about it is that this opens up back here. There we go, which is very cool. And it says, welcome to Majorette on the doors. And it has a kind of silhouette of different buildings from Paris in, in the background. And it says, follow me on the hood. I believe this is an exclusive model to that set. And it's really cool. I, I like how one, that it's a safety car. And two, it has that welcome to Majorette stuff on it. Very cool. This is, I think, one of my favorites of that, of that, that set for, for sure. Up next, we have four Audi R8s. We have two Roadsters and two Coupes. The Roadsters are in black and green. Um, there's actually two different uh, wheels as well. This one has the black wheel with the chrome trim, and this one just has the all-black wheel finish. Very cool. And then for the coupes, I did make the wheels silver on the yellow version, and I kept the wheels black on this baby blue version, all of which look uh, very cool. Then we have a Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster in red. Looks super cool. Has kind of these like red trimmed uh, wheels on there. Love it. Then we have two Renault Twingos. One is orange with black stripes and one is yellow, or I'm sorry, one is white with orange stripes. Then we have four Jeep Wranglers. Um, three have the closed top and one has the open top. So I have a Wrangler Rubicon in kind of a matte beige with this adventure inscription on the side here. Then we have a bright red version kind of done in, in a glossy red with no livery on it. Then we have a bright green with these kind of matte gray wheels, and then a dark matte green with the chrome wheels, all of which look very cool. 
Next, we have a Chevrolet Silverado pickup in silver. Then we have a Citron Cactus that actually does have an opening rear um, lift gate. Kind of an odd looking um, hatchback, but still um, quite cool. Then we have these two Polaris um, all-terrain vehicles. I think there's an actual like model name, but I forget what it is. One of them is black with the yellow cage, I guess we'll call it, and one of them is silver with the bright green cage. Very cool. And the suspension works quite well on these as well. Then up next, we have the Alfa Romeo 4C Spider in kind of this darker metallic blue, and another yellow Porsche Boxster that also has the working or the removable top in yellow. Then up next, we have this tractor and this grain trailer right here. And you can actually hook the grain trailer up to the tractor. Then we have this front end loader right here too, which does have a removable shovel in the front and arm. And then we have this really cool mint green vintage Volkswagen Beetle. And this other Beetle here did not come in the set of 33, but I did get it from a flea market. This is a 2013 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. And then we'll finish off with these four models in the front here. These three did come in that set of um, 33. These were the mystery models that came in these kind of little cardboard boxes. And I believe these same three mystery models come in all of the 33 car sets. So we have a Jaguar heft type in this really nice kind of Spectre Flame Red with these really cool uh, wheels. And then we have a Volkswagen Beetle in kind of a matte black with, with these flames. I love this one. And then we have a Volkswagen van with this kind of burger pattern on there big burger chef and it does have this little opening rear door back here which is hard to get but you get the point then last but not least for the majorette collection i have this land rover defender in orange that has opening doors and an opening hood and the rubber tires as well i got this model from target so there's all the different models made by Majorette that I have in my collection of diecast cars. Um, I definitely consider getting more Majorette models in the future, but again, they are kind of hard to find. And I can't really think of any particular models right now that I would want to, to find, but if I do happen to find some for a good price, and if they're ones that I want, I probably will end up um, caving like I usually do with things <laughs> and then not buying them. So yeah. But that is my entire collection of uh, Majorette models. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun with uh, making it. So feel free to comment down below with, with your thoughts on the video and perhaps which your favorite car featured in the video is. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.